The Bananarang is a potent melee weapon that you can acquire before the mechanical bosses. Prior to the recent update, 1.4.4, known as the The Labor of Love update, the weapon was well known for its immense power and absurd obtainability. However, in update 1.4.4, the obtainability was changed, making it significantly easier to get your hands on, which increased its drop chance from 1 over 30 to 1 over 10 from clowns from blood moons, and no longer needs 10 to unleash its full potential. These changes allow the weapon to have modifiers, boosting the weapon's performance. However, the weapon also received a nerf, having its damage reduced from 55 to 45. Nonetheless, the trade-off is more than worth it. Now, the big question is, does the weapon still stand out after all these changes? Let's put the weapon to the test. Of course, I tried this weapon against a boss most of us would fight as soon as we obtained this weapon, a mechanical boss. The mechanical boss I decided to try first is Skeletron Prime, because it has multiple parts but not too much like the destroyer. Unsurprisingly, the weapon just devastated the boss. The nerf is not actually that bad, because it still has 81% of that great power, which itself is already insanely powerful. I then tried the weapon against the twins, which many people consider as the hardest mechanical boss, but with the Bananarang's superiorly high DPS and adequate range, we make easy work of the duo. Because this weapon is so powerful, I decided to take a step out of its comfort zone and use it against Duke Fishron, a powerful boss intended to be fought as late as post Golem, a stage of the game very close to endgame. Even without the help of a piercing weapon, I could still easily take the bubbles out. So far, this is the greatest performance I have ever seen from any pre-mech weapon against Duke Fishron, with a staggering 800 DPS. To put this into perspective, when I tried other weapons, they only reached 400 to 600 DPS, falling far behind. The Shadowflame Knife, perhaps one of the most popular pre matched melee weapons that almost everyone uses falls far behind because of its lack of range. I died on the verge of entering Phase 3. To be fair, I wasn't using my favorite accessory, the Amphibian Boots, and I didn't practice enough. If you are very familiar with your movement, this boss is an absolute cakewalk using the Bananarang. So far, we haven't directly compared the Bananarang to a competitor, which in this case, we will compare it with another weapon you can obtain in a similar manner, the Drippler Crippler, which you can obtain in the same stage of the game, and is dropped by Blood Eels in a 12.5% chance. Unlike the Bananarang, fishing is required to obtain this weapon, which means it could be annoying to obtain by many players. Regardless, let's put it to the test. Against Skeletron Prime, the weapon dealt a high amount of damage, having similar DPS to the Bananarang. However, the consistency is nowhere as near, making it fall behind. Against the Twins, it's quite the same story. The Flail dealt a very similar amount of damage to the Boomerang, but lost in consistency. Eventually, I died while barely defeating Retinazer, which I find as the harder twin than Spasmodism. The very lackluster range of the Drippler Crippler forbade me from having much time to react. I found making distance while trying to deal a consistent amount of damage incredibly hard. The Bananarang is certainly a weapon you can't say no to. In my opinion, I think it's so much easier to obtain than the Shadowflame Knife, especially after the updates.